the Fusky Islands, South Carolina. Men, women and children were brought here from Africa. Their responsibility to work on plantations growing indigo, rice and cotton, turning a profit for their owners. But all that changed in 1861 when the Civil War broke out largely over slavery, pitting states in the South against those in the North. Slaves fought in the war and eventually became free, with a promise to land and education when the conflict ended in 1865. More than 1,000 freed slaves settled here on Defusky Island, but only 13 descendants of slaves occupy the island today. They're struggling to uphold their rights to inherited land that is now prime real estate. This phenomenon began in the early 1980s when landowners witnessed a spike in property taxes as resorts and golf courses took over, driving up land values. There must be a way that they could address people who have always had their land, no fault of their own, been impacted by development. While in fourth grade, attending the local elementary school, he met Dr. J. Herman Blake, a visiting professor. Together with Dr. Blake, who is currently the executive director of the Gullah Geechee Cultural Heritage Corridor Commission, Irvin helps people to resolve land issues. The commission assists the descendants of slaves who settled in South Carolina, the Gullah, and those residing in Georgia, the Geechee, to retain precious land left by their ancestors and at the same time preserve their culture. To ensure the rights of people of African descent, such as the Gullah Geechee, are protected, their contributions recognized, and their rich cultural heritage preserved, the United Nations has declared an international decade for people of African descent. 